Hey, I'm mad. Yo, we're live on the Palace for Breakfast show. It's myself, 100 Eyes, with a thriller, Talent Mafio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are here with our special guest, Boss Queen Management. Yeah, give it up, man. <laughs> Boss Queen, how Hello. are you doing today, Dad? I'm good. You're good, yeah? Yeah. How was your travels? Travels was good. Came by taxi. <laughs> oh, yeah? Chauffeur driven. In the Rolls and the Rolls voice, huh? It's waiting outside, is it? I wish. Yeah. <laughs> Them days will come, don't worry. We'll you know see. what? I did see the red carpet and the flowers. Shut up! Oh, no. <laughs> 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 well, you good? I'm good, man. You ready for the interview? Yes, let's go. So, tell me, what are you saying, though? How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm well. I'm good. I'm energised. I'm ready for the vibes, man. Yeah? Yeah. The boss Queen. Yes. Um, you are a <coughs> manager of yes, an I artist am. in America, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Okay. So tell us a bit about yourself before we get too deep into that. Where are you from and uh, talk, talk to us about your background. Where am I from? Yeah. Background. Yeah, where are you from? Eh? come from an Asian background. Oh. So you can imagine how hard that's going to be. Uh-huh. Trying to do what I'm trying to do right now. Okay. Um, not so much my parents, but people around. For the community. Yeah. They don't support that. The don't management. support it. No. You see, with the Asians, they have a little um, standard, didn't it? Doctor, lawyer. Yeah. Is that no, but is it, isn't that with anyone that's from culture yeah. background? Yeah. Yeah. Similar yeah. African yeah. culture. Yeah. It's, it's like yeah. you're you're growing up to be like, oh, you're gonna become a lawyer, and it's like, you what? Yeah, no, I have no passion. Yeah, for that no about. thanks. Yeah, or you're gonna thank become you a doctor or a surgeon? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so so where did the the passion <coughs> to kind of get into music come from then? If that wasn't your culture. Um. Well, mu- I'm sure music was in the culture. Oh, yeah. Music's always been part of the family. Like, you know, growing up, we listened to all different types of music. Mm-hmm. Um, the passion has always been there, but it was circumstances that didn't get me to start earlier. Okay. So I kind of had to take a step back. I ended up having kids and stuff. And you life got, was you just... You got kids? Don't know how you got, got kids. kids. I got two kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but then I had to kind of stop, pause, and, you know, concentrate on family and the kids. Mm-hmm. But then it just kind of hit me, like, nah, I'm getting too old. I need to do this for myself now. What music did you listen to growing up? Um, it was like, okay, so being from an Asian background, I was listening to, like, there was Bollywood music, mum, obviously, yeah. dad. And then there was a lot of, like, reggae, Arabic music, reggaeton. It wasn't just particular genre. It was, like, everything we grew up with. Okay. Especially from being from... It's all multicultural, so... Okay. So did... Miss Elliot broke, broke, it broke, broke it for everyone, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. You can start getting jiggy with this. Brought hip hop into there. Brought yeah. hip hop into the. Yeah, so um, the scene, it was everything. So. And having mixed friends and stuff, like. Sorry, let me ask a question. See me growing up in an African household on the Sundays, my father used to play reggae every mm. Sunday, I feel. So I grew up on reggae music. Right. Was it similar to you? Like, did your father play Asian music in the mornings or. What's the vibe like? It, what, what, the vibe in our house was loud. Okay, cool. It was loud. Like, I wouldn't say it was from like the morning, but they, dad, my, my dad doesn't drink now, but I remember when he did used to drink, like he used to get loud in the house with the music and stuff, and he was really merry, I remember. Oh, wow. Like he, he loved his drink, his music, so I remember my mum like shouting in the background, like, turn it down, the neighbours are going to get angry, but he just did not give a shit. Like he would just do his own thing. <laughs> live life man yeah and um, at what point did you have that independent thought to I want to work somehow in, in some facility in music industry okay I'm going to be honest it wasn't music has always been yep. like I wanted to do something in the music industry but it all started with me becoming a makeup artist okay so I wanted to do something along those lines so it could be like just doing makeup on like the actors or the singers or whatever on a music video yeah uh, but it, it, I wanted it to be something in the entertainment industry so, like I said, I had the kids, so the makeup thing just kind of stopped. Yeah. And then the music was always there, and I was like, I need to do it. But then I, I went through something, like, last year, and that's when I kind of made a decision that I have to do it now. Okay. Yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. And what, did you have to do a course for it, or did you just... I did, well, so, I'm taught. still educating myself. Hold well on. Because, you know, as I, every single day I'm educating on something. Forever a student? Yeah, that's basically. That's that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I did do a course and I'm thankful for Luch to kind of push me to do it. Luch, that's your, My artist. your artist. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get into it in a minute. Yeah, so. and um, so I did that. For me to do that was just kind of get the background of what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So I've got a little bit more knowledge and it's under my belt. And I'm not just someone that's got up and 
people turn around, she doesn't know what she's doing. Okay. So I know what I'm doing. It was just a little bit to educate myself and get on the right path. Mm. But like I said, you can't stop studying on this. Every day you're learning a new lesson. So Was there ever a feeling to be in front of the camera or on the microphone? Is there hidden singing talents, rapping? No, nah, no one can sing. No. <laughs> no one in my family or me can sing. Maybe shower ever. sing. Shower sing, yeah. The acoustics <laughs> in the shower are sweet. Me on that maybe, but um no, nah, can't sing to save my life. So if any of you lot are in trouble, don't okay. be expecting to be saved. No features. <laughs> Ain't gonna Huge happen. Capo featuring no Boss way. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to us how did you get into management then? so like I said I went through something last year and I made a decision that I'm gonna think about myself now um to be told you can't do something was a little bit you know what no I'm gonna do it mm-hmm. so that really pushed me and kind of drove me into the direction that I'm in now mm-hmm. um so yeah I just kind of took it from there uh Luch approached me okay he was looking for a manager just uh, random just randomly um, it's quite fun. He actually liked one of my posts on my page, and it was a spoken word poetry that I had done uh, in honor of um, George Floyd. So, wait, wait, wait. you do spoken words? Yeah. Oh, See, I told you there's something. Okay, it's not singing or rapping. <laughs> but the reason I do that is I'm not going to say I had a rough childhood, but sometimes I can't get my feelings out, so I'm more pen to paper. So I've got a diary where I kind of write everything down and my feelings and stuff. So that's where the spoken word comes from. Do you, yeah. do you, do you remember that, 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 that poem you done then? The what, the George words? Floyd yeah. one? I don't know from the top of my head, but it's on my page if anyone wants to have a look. Ah, we're going to draw you out there, <laughs> innit? Like, take the stage. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my page. Yeah. Yeah. It's on my page if you want to have a look. Okay, okay. But yeah, cool. um, he kind of liked it and I thought nothing of it. And at the time I was um, managing someone else for a little while yeah. who's a good friend. Yeah. Uh, but business reasons, we didn't work out, so I kind of left that. Yeah, and yeah. then when he did approach me, I was at a really low stage in life. Okay. And I was actually thinking of just giving up the whole thing like I can't do it because I was constantly being told I can't do it so that was at the back of my head and um so anyway like I said he liked my post Mm -hmm. and said he wanted a manager he did have a manager in the past but I think he had resided elsewhere so they didn't work out and um yeah, you just constantly bashing my phone. Like, I need a manager, I need a manager. I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm still learning myself. Yeah, and it must have been a bit daunting on you, whereas, I mean, you're learning and then here comes an international artist. Yeah, and he's across the pond. So I'm yeah. like thinking, how's that going to work out? Like, time difference, you know, we're two different zones. And even resources, well, did you have any connects in the States or, at, at or the placements? At the time, no. Mm-hmm. So that was a little bit more like, why is he wanting to kind of like... Mm. Want me to manage them? I have nothing like on the table at the moment. Yeah, I'm still building myself, and you're drawn to energy, man. Yeah, gravitate not, towards. I you. don't know what it was, but you know, that a poem. year later we're still here. <laughs> that poem, that poem, man. You probably, you probably touched the frequency in him maybe, that he just said, "Oh, maybe. this is the one." Sometimes but, you know it's right. You know it's right. You know you can't really yeah. avoid it. You just know. Yeah. But he, I remember him saying, he's just like, "I just know you can do this," and mm. I found that really strange. Like him being across the pond, not knowing me. And having that belief in me, I was just like, you know what? All right, we're going to give it a go. So, a year later, here we are. It's crazy <laughs> to, to, to manage someone overseas. Whereabouts is he? In is Philadelphia. He's in Philly. Yeah. You know, I say that, yeah, only because I'm an artist myself. And even the little the little ponds there are in London, yeah. for example, the little shows here, yeah. the little shows there. And because I'm here in London, I can take advantage of it and I can see it early. Mm. So, for you, as a manager, see, doing it overseas... It's a little bit of a task, darling, if I say, if I'll be real. More of a task, because, right. yeah. like I said, not knowing anything and him having the trust and being an independent artist himself, mm. I just thought, like, am I going to be able to do this? But we're getting there. Yeah, how long have you managing him for, sorry? For one year now, it's been a year. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so what was um, your initial outlook then? So he's approached you mm. and he had to kind of, convince you to take him on i was brushing him off i was like nah i'm not doing this okay. <laughs> but he was very adamant and, and when you finally agreed to it did you have a plan or did you think you know what i'm just gonna freestyle and then find my feet or did you have a strategy i won't say i had a strategy at the time yeah. but um it was more freestyle it was just like kind of networking looking online to see what i can do and like i said i was educating myself every single day on it yeah um i did actually have a really good friend called dwight miller and his cousin akil who akil was actually a ex-manager 
he used to work for actually I'm not going to say who he used to work for <laughs> let's okay. not get that on the air okay. but um, he mentored me he taught me the ins and outs of like how to start off and what I need to do so I thank him a lot like you know he's always been there so um, yeah so I kind of just took it from there and Salute. just went with the flow oh, that's good man yeah. you do need someone to give you a little footy once in a yeah. while you know so when, when I was reaching out to people and I wasn't getting the answer that I was looking for I'd run back to Akil I was like Akil like you know this is what's going on mm. am I doing it right and he would just like Indy do it like this and then you know he's always been there like always so okay, okay I'm, I want to put you on the spot a little bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> so he's reached out to you Luch Capo that yeah. is right I'm assuming you were unaware of him as an artist at the yes, time yes I didn't know who he was never heard a song from him nope so when he contacted you you then researched a bit about him I actually did not even research okay so did you take the job on without knowing his no his so music? it kind of he's reached out he's adamant he wants to work and I'm like okay you know after like trying to say no agreed to it did you check out his music his he drinks, actually or? sent me one of his tracks okay and um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on air go for it so, it's called my the track okay and um I literally fell in love with that track straight away. It was his voice. I was just like, wow, like he, he's got potential. There's something there. Okay. So I think that kind of drew me, like kind of drew me into it. I was like, I there can't step goes. away. I need, I need to help this guy. He get him what he deserves. So the music was part of the yeah. convincing you. Okay. That sounds good. That's good. That's it was good. just that one track. It was literally on replay. And I remember my brother walking <laughs> in and he was just like, are you feeling all right? You've listened to this about a hundred times. <laughs> I was like, but can you not listen to his voice? His voice is amazing. You know, when you, you do find that track though, it is like, <laughs> yeah. I, I remember my neighbours banging the wall when I had 50 cent in the club on. Serious. I was like, <laughs> me. I, I feel I was like, yeah, eight. I was like, I don't care. Every ad lib <laughs> knew everything. Yeah. Yeah. Indie. Yeah. Would you recommend uh, every artist have a management? Um, from, from what you've done for Luch so far? I mean, you don't really need to have a manager. Okay. Um, there's nothing that an artist can't do what a manager can. So you can still manage yourself. Having a manager is just having like an extra pair of hands. Yeah. So while he or she is concentrating in the studio... Mm-hmm. The manager's just trying to bring stuff to the table. I and guess just, it takes the weight off off of man yeah. as well a lot because I do a lot and go do and you do fall back on a lot of stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just want to make music, yeah. I, I, so I do get it. A manager, I think yeah. personally, a manager is important for artists. Yeah, just take some of the to do list. Yeah, yeah, basically, Definitely. you're just balancing yourself by got, having a manager. So I think artists got to be free minded to to be the best. Yes, and if he's got a lot of on his plate, it takes away that creativity as well. Yeah, so. You're killing the brand in a, in a sense by doing too much anyway. To yeah. be fair, and it's another pair of eyes for direction. Yeah, exactly. What's the best advice you've been given, or you could give? I could give. Yeah, something you've learned that you would advise someone else as well. Um, in your field, like if you want to achieve something in life, just go get it. You Jeez. only got one life. One life. One life, and. You don't want to have regret 10 years down the line thinking, shit, I should have done that. No, I feel yeah. you on that, Pete. Yeah, so just go get it. Yeah. Forget who, forget everyone around you. Don't listen to them. Preach. You've come to earth on your own. You're going to leave earth on your own. Powers. I say yeah. that to everyone. Right. No bunk beds and coffins, dog. That's it. So Powers. Go get it. Oh. Don't, don't let anyone tell you any less. Yeah. Mm. You always have that empty feeling of, yeah. oh, I didn't try. So, so go this is it. this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Because what I had in the back of my mind that I wanted to do and then being told that you can't do it, had I listened to this individual and not done it, 10 years down the line, I would have been like, shit, I should have done that. Mm. Why did I not do it? So why would I want to stay and leave Earth with regret? Yeah, yeah, I respect that, I respect that. So it gave you some fulfilment. Yeah. That's what it's about, you know. I tell my kids that, do whatever you want to do in life, I got you. (laughs) Yeah, man. As long as you don't cause any harm. That's it. That's the truth. Mm. That's, there's only one law in life, isn't it, really? That's it. Do not cause harm. Yeah. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Everyone can run with it. Um, what do you like about being a manager? What is it? And what and what, what, what are the negatives as well? What are the pros and, pros and cons? Pros, I can boss him around. Boss I queen. I live up to my name. Where's your, where is your whip? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to see. Your whip and chain. I live up where to my name. Um, nah. Um, I just love the fact. I won't say I'm authoritative. I would. You would? A little bit, yeah. Why do you say that? Just your demeanour and how you present yourself. Okay. Assertive, I'll tell maybe? Compli- yeah, I like that one. There you go. Let's soften it. Assertive. Yeah. Let's get a little bit feminine. Um, I don't know. Like, 
Okay, okay, tell us some qualities that you need for the job then. You've got to be organised. Yeah. You have to be organised. You have to be structured. You've got to be on point. You can't slack. You know, sometimes things aren't going to go the right way, but that doesn't mean you give up. You just carry on. <laughs> Trust you know. me, I, I I agree with you on that, man. Yeah. A lot of people are quick to give up on the first sign of trouble. Yeah. I can't do this, made the breakdown, and that's yeah, a done no. to you. Yeah, like, I, I don't believe in that. Neither do I. No. Neither do I. Or if you try a project and it doesn't get the views or the the spins that you're looking for, yeah. you have to persevere and. You know, it's crazy. People get mental health over that, but all you gotta do is put some money on it. You know, <laughs> like literally, like that's all you I gotta mean, there, do. There was a time, like, like, don't stress okay, about views. I'll give views, you an example. Bro. We we reached out to someone in the industry, and we paid them out, you know, to help us, and it didn't go the way we they had kind of told us. So sold your dream, did it? Yeah, yeah. So for Luch, that was like a big knockback. Like, oh, what the hell? Like, you know, it didn't go to plan. And I was just like, you know, it's okay. It's a learning curve. Yeah. Like, even though deep down, I was like, what the hell? Like, it's not going the way I want it to go. Yeah. It's experience for you as well. Yeah. It's a lot of hot so air now in I know. Game, I got to, like, do my due di- diligence and kind of, like, look into yeah. it before I kind of go start paying off people. 100%, man. So that's another advice I give to people. Look into it before you start, you know, giving paper out to people. Don't do it otherwise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Has anything hindered you so far? Um, Being in management? What do you mean, like? Uh, um, obviously, because you're working with him overseas, has anything hindered you along the way that could, that that's stopping um, growth? Yeah, the pandemic. <laughs> Gotta oh. be honest, the pandemic, man. For real. Stopping me from flying out right now. So yeah, I can that's imagine. The only thing, which and is it, annoying because everyone else around the world can get into the US apart from us. Oh, look, let me ask a question. We, so when you fly out, you're gonna get your double jabs. I've got my double jabs already. I'm ready. <laughs> got it shielded up, yeah. Oh. I'm ready to go. Okay. No, me. no comment. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're against it then. Oh. Uh, no comment again. I am who I, I am. Who I am. <laughs> I am who I am. That's the, that's the truth, isn't it? Um, okay, cool. Can you describe a real life situation that inspired your journey? Um, going off the topic. No more. A situation of someone that inspired me. Whatever. I'll say someone. Yeah. My dad. Oh, Papa yeah. G, yeah? My daddy, man. Um, simply because being from a different country and then coming to settle down in England and just working at the airport as a waiter to being a businessman now. Mm. I look up to him. His worth ethic is amazing. Mm. Rags to riches, yeah. huh? Basically. Bad. That's bad. Are you Hindu? No. What religion are you? We're not going to get into that. Oh, <laughs> secret societies and stuff. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on there? We're not going to get into that. Open Pandora's box and what's going to come out of there? Pandora's no, not, no, no. The, the, I'm, I'm the key Punjabi. got jammed. I'm Punjabi. Okay. I'll stop. Dad's Punjabi. I'll stop. Well, let's just stop there now. <laughs> 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 it's, let's not open up the box. You can't open the box, you know. <laughs> yeah, take a look behind the veil. <laughs> Okay, so, so so Papa put the battery in your back then. Yeah. You've got that work ethic from him. Mm-hmm. I mean, I look at him and I think he works day in, day out. Like, this man never has a day off. Damn. And the fact to see where he is now, it's just like, if he can do that, and he's come from a different country to yeah. here, to build himself. I'm born in red hair, so what's, what's stopping me? You know what, yeah? I think we have to give a clap out to our, to our, to our parents. and Honestly. Ancestors. You know why? Yeah, because yeah. you know how difficult it is today yeah. in this country and we was growing up here. So and imagine them coming to a foreign land and still making something exactly. for themselves. Exactly. Me, as an like, adult now, salute I, you, man. It's salute difficult for our little situation now as an adult. So yeah. imagine when there were less resources for them back exactly. then. And they spoke less of the language. And they un- they, they, they didn't understand there the country as much as we So do. what excuse do we have? We have none. Yeah. Exactly. We've just, got no we just, excuse. We just, we just got chat. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> shame, on, shame on all of you lot. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to your to your parents, man. First generations, man. They come and set the bar really high. Definitely. But you see what though? Let me say so. Sorry, this is a bit off topic mm. as well. Don't ever underestimate education overseas. You know, mm. I think yeah. they've got this this illusion that the Western S- has a better smarter, education system. Yeah. But my they, they my, my mother then. could have spoke a couple languages before she even got to this country. Yeah. Mm. So she was multi skilled, and she didn't even know it because they. 
downplayed the yeah. the skill set. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Even the Ring Rush generation, yeah. when you heard their story, they got sold a dream to come work for the country, you're gonna yes. be in the offices. They come here and they're driving buses. Yeah. So that's why they had a lot of protests. Did yeah. you did you ever feel situation. like like growing up? Like I don't know about you guys, but my dad would like say to me, Oh, I started working at 14 and I went to uni and college. I'm thinking, well, hang on. If you started working at 14, how did education fit in? I feel like they were so like multi-talented. Yeah, yeah they've done it all. Or it was that a way of them trying to say to us, get off your backside and get a job. And- a bit of both. A bit <laughs> of Because I think they're driven culturally because in their culture, it, it is that. It's yeah. Work is not a. It's not like the way we see work. No. We've got everything up uh, age standard. Yeah. They're working from early. It's normal yeah. to them. And back home, it would be... Helping around the house, yeah, or the exactly. gardening, or yeah. that's or homeschooling, yeah, learn to cook, yeah. yeah. Like my mum would say, "Oh, I started cooking at like ten. Then you, at ten, you yeah. wouldn't even let us in the kitchen at ten. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, like mummy's saying, go get the maze, yeah. but you're gonna go get the maze. That means your mum's come and become westernized a bit. Then, yeah, that's the truth. Because why wouldn't she? Mm. She don't know where she's at. That homeland, you're getting that kitchen, girl. Yeah, yeah. Not in a bad way, but learn these things because you're gonna need it. Yeah. To hold it down Life as a older. Do you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And that's what's missing in society a lot today. Definitely. Everyone wants to be the alpha. Then go out, get Independent. The money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the boss. But I'm the this. I'm the that. The truth is, behind. The, there's no balance then. Mm-hmm. You need substance. Do you know what I'm saying? When you've got a beta mill now, it's like you can't really, you don't feel fulfilled. Exactly. But it's a beta. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or beta, mm-hmm. whatever, mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it. Now that sounds good. So, so you've got a long, you, you've got, you've got, discipline to kind of execute mm. your plans and ambitions yeah. can you see this being a, a forever journey like what, what's your where do you want to end up do you want to have a record label a whole fleet of artists what can you see for Boss I want to work with other artists in the mm-hmm. future I don't want to give up on this mm-hmm. I want to keep building till I know I'm comfortable mm-hmm. and I want it to be known to people like there is a Boss Queen management out there so you do want an imprint you want yeah. a, a building for example yeah. and then you've got Want oh, an office? Who doesn't want an office? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need it, man. Yeah. You, you need something separate away from your home. I think. I think I'm very determined. Like if I've started something off, I want to finish it. Yeah. I don't want to give up halfway. I love that. You're executor. Yeah. That's yeah. like me. You have to execute. A lot of people like to start things yeah. and don't execute, bro. Yeah. yeah. Everyone got a million ideas, but if you can't execute one of them, then million ideas mean nothing. Yeah, exactly. So what's a win for you with Luch Capo right now? From where you are now. Of course, the end goal is to be number one artist in the world. But what's a win? What What are the small wins that you would claim right now? Would it be getting a, a good show, a good a, a certain amount of views on what, the video? The man dropped five albums in twenty twenty, bro. That's yeah. that's a win, bro. Say it once again. He dropped five albums. Her artist, Luch Capo, Luch Capo dropped, dropped five, five albums. albums in one I year. I think it was five albums and in one year. Four or five singles. And you were working with him the whole time. Yeah. Damn. Not for the first two. He had just done that. Yeah. yeah. A month before he reached out to me. But that's what made you work with him, though, yeah. the first two, innit? Because you yeah, listened yeah. to him and he took him in, innit? Yeah. So he had to do that to get you. Basically. That's how it runs. That's how so, it runs. Been there since then. I think our first project we'd done together was La Familia. Oh, okay. La Familia. That had a good... With his cousin, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. NPR feet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then that was a rise in quality yeah. as well. So, so that, really that went quite see. well. That was good. Yeah, I like that song. He got on blogs and everything for that. I remember that one. So that mm. was like a big, like, oh my God, we're getting there. So there you like, go. That was a win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a win. And then I think after that, we had a couple of singles that came out. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Lullabies did good. I remember that one. There's a few more because on the top of my head, I can't remember. He's probably going to hate me for not remembering no, it's this. All good, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> Can you um, give us an example of a placement or something you actually set up for him across seas just to kind of... We can see the logistics, whether it was a show or you spoke to someone. Um, not a show because of the pandemic at the time, because that's when we kind of met. Um, just like the small stuff, like I got him an interview in California with a host called Ecor. Okay. Um, so that was a big thing. Um, he's had a podcast interview with a guy from Australia. He's been doing quite a few stuff, isn't he? Lately, yeah, you know, yeah. I've been seeing him actually. Yeah, so oh. just, just interviews. Like, I mean, the biggest one for me here at the time was when you guys played this track for me. I was literally trying to find a radio station that was going to play a track for him yeah. without it being unedited. Because every time I was reaching out, they are like, we want an edit version. I was like, well, he, there's literally nothing that I can give you where okay. he doesn't say yeah. you know, a curse word or something that you don't want to hear. Yeah, and the type of music he yeah. makes. So yeah, so when you guys were like, we're going to play it, that was just major for me. I was like, yes, okay. finally something. That's <laughs> a good look. That's a good look. Can you um, tell us about a day in the life of a manager? 
What, what's, what's your days like? Hectic, crazy. Yeah. Argumentative. Yeah. Want to kill him sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest. <laughs> Sounds like a relationship, <laughs> dog. <laughs> He'd probably want to kill me on the other side. I mean, if I was right next to him, I'd probably strangle him because of that stuff that we argue over. Oh. And it'd be the pe- so, um, Luch Capo in five years, he's gone, in it. He's he's made it. He's made it. Okay. Is that where you see yourself in five years? Yeah. Luch Capo's done done the deal. Well, I'd like, not work with him. No, like he's done. He's done it. He's he's Accomplice. good. Yeah. He's, yeah. 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 He has. I have to get him to the top before I stop. The album that's charted in in the international charts type yeah. of thing. Yo, we'll support that, you know. No, we'll course, we'll definitely don't. buy we we'll buy ten albums for you <laughs> just to get into the top, bruv. Like, I think it's why got, not? He's got a good balance of like of of like your 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 stereotypical hip hop music where he's got the banging beat, yeah. he's rapper's rapper, mm. yeah. and then he's got insight in the music as well. Yeah. So he's definitely someone I could actually listen, listen to. to. Yeah, yeah, facts. And then Well you like milk rap anyway. You you always like to milk I'll rap. I'll be honest, yeah. Yeah, still and, and I think I can see the patterns where the UK takes from it. Yeah. So it would be something where, even for example, this show with it's all about control music. Mm. Don't know, don't know. And he's someone who fits that market where right. it, it's conscious and it's also real. Mm. But even him as a person as well. When we did that um, the Zoom call with him, he was actually a dope person persona. He's very down to earth. Yeah, and the he's fact he said real. a couple of things to me that that stuck in my head when we mm. were talking about. As the music changed in America, and he's like, nah, nah not really. That's what I'm saying. He's so real. He will tell you how it is. Yeah, that's that's what it's I like love. No in between with him. It's just you get what you get. And it's difficult for him, I can imagine, because he would have to find that balance to be heard. If I, the, the, the US market is so heavily ignorant music, mm. twerking, gang banging, whatever, for him to try to get his message across, he has to kind of dive into that. I a think bit. I kind of like. I kind of pushed him towards that way a little bit in the beginning. Like, you need a music video with Twerk. And he's like, no, I'm not doing it. Oh, we okay. kind of, we didn't fall out of it. We argued over it. Mm. But I see what he meant by that. Like, well, 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 well done, Luch. Yeah. Salute, so, Luch. So he put his foot down. He's like, I'm not doing that. Okay. Neither, I don't do that enough. Yeah. I don't even know. No. So that leaves you the task of how to get yeah. more exposure without selling out type of thing. Basically, yeah. <laughs> when you say that, I hate that word, selling out, bro. Well, I mean, you know, the clout chasing videos. Right? Why, yeah. why is it selling, like... It should be normal not having twerk videos and cars in a music video, bro. That shouldn't be. Cl- that's normal. I hate that. It should be normal to have it. Yeah, not not to have it, not to have that's it. That's what I'm saying. So the, you're trying to not sell out and have it because you know people are gonna watch because there's an ass shake or there's a. Because there was a lot of people that was like, oh, I came to do like a music video in a club with like strippers and stuff, and I was just like. Sounds good, but everyone's doing it, and he, that's not him. That's dead. So when I did kind of present it to him, he was just like, no. Not doing that, indeed. See, well done, Luch, man. Yeah. That says a lot about the type of man he is already. Mm. Just now, that alone. I remember, like, in the beginning, when I did start listening to his music, because of the accent and this slang, it was very hard to understand the words. Yeah. But now I'm getting very used to, to it. So when I listen to his music, it's so real and deep that I feel like there's not a lot of artists like him out there. He's a poet. Yeah. He's a poet. Like are, are telling reality and telling yeah. the truth, basically. Okay. He's a poet. But that's where rap really comes from, isn't it? Rhythm and poetry. Yeah. And he's a poet. I can hear it in the style he does. But he makes sense. Yeah, man. And I'm not being biased because he's my eye. No, he's right. He does. He does. But he, does, he makes he does. sense in his music. Yeah. Like, everything's got a story behind it. you got to have a story yeah. behind your music, man. Yeah. All this this pointless tells is just what you're doing. You're putting crap into the ether. You know what right. I'm saying? And look where we are today in 2021. The music yeah. game's a mess, mate. Yeah. It's and then a when mess. when I'm listening to, like, the younger generation's music, it's just about sex and boobs and asses and you name it, drugs and guns and it's just like, yeah. What's the story behind that? We need to find a nice little young gunner and put him on and make him talk some real stuff and make him get the clout up and <laughs> it, yeah, man, and be the example because that's what it is right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like the, examples. We said it before. The youngers on the music game are leading the game, which mm. is like, you can't teach me, bro. Mm. And you definitely can't teach the world then. Exactly. And that's what's that's what's running forward. You know what I'm saying? You need some educated scholars on the mic. You know what I'm saying? You know when you had Feral March, them times there, yeah. the old school commons. I know they're old school Tally outdated. Quilly, but yeah, if you can find new drill beats for them or something, exactly. they will kill it, man. Contrillery, trillery. You see I think me? I think I mean Kendrick Lamar is the ultimate example for that now, isn't it? Yeah, but he had to switch it up. Yeah. He's a he's a he's an original hip hop rapper. You can see the style he does now. I'll tell you who is big out there. Who? Uh, Miss Banks. 
Oh, okay. oh. A lot of people that I network with, they, they love her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she's making a name for herself out there. That's good. I don't know if she knows it, but she is. <laughs> do you, so do you think bus in America, when you bust in America, you've made it? Because why, why is she there? Well, she, has, she hasn't bust America. She's just... She's trying she, to bust. She, she hasn't done a trap with anyone, has she? Yeah. I know, but my point is, well, so, 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 she's trying to bust America, right? Of course. Maybe. She must be. Is that, is that the game? Once you bust America, you've made it. It's a bigger pond. So people that I know, they're like, she's... This is what they've said to me, word for word. She's one of the best female rappers here in the UK. For them, they feel that. Maybe her, maybe her style was more yeah. palatable to them. Yeah. Because you know the UK is fast flows, isn't it? And sometimes they can't take it, take mm. it in. True. With the accent as well. They can't yeah. with the accent. That's it's strong. Mm. This dynamite come out to play. <laughs> Imagine like, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, so um, bring it back to you a little bit. Mm. Now, I know you said your father was an inspiration, but take family away. Let's go into idols and and role models. Who's influences? Yeah, influences. That's the one. Who who's who's a person in the in the public eye you could say you've got some inspiration from? Uh, who's your type of person? Female, male, whoever. I'll probably say Beyonce. Mm. Okay. Just because of her persona, the way she's strong. Boss diva. She's boss diva, yeah. The attitude. And got a strong man. Yeah. And the fact that she keeps herself to herself. Have you noticed that? Like, there's very less about her in the media other mm. than music. There's nothing personal about her. I just I just love that about her. She protected up, innit? Yeah. Mm. But then you know everything else about everyone else. I like that about her. She keeps herself to herself. Yeah. And I think I'm a bit like that. How strange. <laughs> Pandora's box, I keep telling you. How, how strange. Mm. I like to give out what I want to give out, not everything. Okay. I, was, I respect that still. Yeah, you got to protect yourself. Definitely. And um, how often uh, do you listen to music a lot, like daily? Oh, every day. So give us some some artists. Who, who's, right now, who's in your playlist right now? My playlist now? right now is Luch, I ain't going to lie. Okay. You're on my playlist. And Control Music. She said Luch. I don't like that. Like, that's in force there. Luch only. <laughs> and you. <laughs> and you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're on there. You're on there. Thank um, you. I appreciate that. Yeah. I can imagine. It's, it's a mixed be. playlist. Yeah. yeah. Music's like on the go from 8.30 in the morning with the kids in the car. <laughs> Music's important in the household, man. you got to play it, man. Yeah. Every day. What do you listen most to? US or UK or... Mixed, um, mixed. Bollywood? No, no Bollywood. This is yeah. weird because growing up, when the parents did play the Bollywood, I never got into Bollywood. So even now, like when people talk about movies, and so I don't know nothing. I'm mm. just like, what? Okay. Give me a UK artist apart from Miss Banks who you like. Mm. UK artist. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you've listened to one in the last two days. Give me one. Mm. And no obvious, no storm season. Pressure. Come on. <laughs> pressure. Oh, this is pressure. Big them up. Come on. Hey, get a towel. A palm, <laughs> a palm to sweat in, please. <laughs> oh, damn. Who, who? Who do you want to shout out? Hundred eyes. Hundred eyes? Who's that? Don't hate. Don't, don't hate, but I appreciate um, that, dog. <laughs> I'm joking. I can't even tell you the top of my head. My playlist is saying my shout right now. Give me one latest song you liked and listen to. Mad Pressure, man. Yeah, let's squeeze something out. Luch Capo, Luch Capo. Let's bridge a gap. Luch Capo featuring... I'm liking that track. Is it called Body? By... Oh, by um, Rush and um, yes. Tion Wayne. Yes, and yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you like a little bounce, yeah? yeah the the like drilly, that. drilly, yeah? Yeah, like yeah. You like drill, yeah? Yeah, I like, I like hype music. I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to get Luch on something hype. Mm. Anything working right now? Jewel, Jewel bang, 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 bang with American accent, I think. Yeah. I think he'd be good on... Luch would be good on... Yeah, he would. On a Jewel He beat. just needs to listen to me and kind of do it. Mm. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I like my little hype. You're a hype girl, yeah. Did you used to go raving a lot? In your a younger days? days? Yeah. Yeah? What, jungle raves, isn't it? Uh, Ooh, pri- private warehouses and that. <laughs> La- no. last minute last minute texts and that <laughs> you know you you on, oh, you, oh yes you come did. on sorry you guys you're making me sound so bad why too bougie you're because they're hating on me <laughs> yeah man they hate, they hate man it's the world out here man you can't you can't help who you are you're live, great live be life great when I was younger you used to live life a lot yeah what about now mother now innit I'll keep it. Yeah, but your mother and her management team right now. Manager. 
Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Your mommy jar, your joke. It's funny you said that because he calls me that and I'm like, mm. what, mommy jar? Yeah, I'm like, sounds weird coming from you. <laughs> and how do your kids see you as a manager? What, what do oh, they-, they love it. They love it. It's funny because um, my son will sit there on YouTube watching his own little videos and if anything comes across, like, you know, distributors and mm. stuff, he's like, mommy, you can use that for Luch. Oh, see? They- so they're picking up on stuff. So they love Luch as well. Yeah. They're number eight. Whenever he's in the studio, like my daughter would be like, can I watch him? Luch is getting them streams from your kids, isn't it? Your kids are running them views up for him, dog. Now, big up Luch Capo, though. Luch Capo is Boss Queen's artist. So make sure you go check him out. That's Luch Capo. He's a Philadelphia rap artist. Um, check out his latest album, yeah, Birth, of Birth of a King. It's sounding dope. Sounds mm-hmm. dope. Probably yeah. his best projects he's done. Well, you got star. you got to bring him here when you're when he comes to the UK. Oh, fingers you, crossed. Yeah, for real talk for 100%. real. Just 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 hit us up with a quick episode and link him. We'll link him outside yeah. if you have to. Ring the H4N. Why yeah. not? Like right not? live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even on a show or anything. Hit us up, man. We we're really, really we're really looking to support the people that come on our platforms. Definitely. I think we're going to be the only authentic people that do that. Because mm. you know a lot of radio stations or radio shows. What they do is. Um, They'll have an artist on. As soon as the artist is done, it's over. The cloud's yeah. done, isn't it? But us at Powerful Breakfast, we keep everyone entwined. Yeah. But well, we try to anyway. It's up to them to <laughs> want to stay entwined. I don't care, but we try to. We keep that relationship, mm. yeah. So, yeah, it would be good to meet him in person one day and just vibe to his music and go to a show, bruv. We'll probably be his loudest supporters. You don't know? <laughs> what? You don't know us at shows? We shut down shows. We, That's a fact. We literally shut down shows. So it'll be good to meet the young American himself. You feel me? Definitely. Okay, so what's your um your your not future Sorry. but go on. I was, I was gonna say what's your your next on your next what's your next thing to do on your to do list? What's the next thing for yourself and Luch Capo? I, I know you said you're waiting for COVID to clear and get placements, but get, where are you trying to go with it? Get now? this money, baby. Make money, yeah. yeah. So is it said. obviously pushing this project? But, now. Yeah, pushing him, getting him more shows. Um, get him to perform live is the main goal. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and just touring, hopefully, God willingly. Get there him you to go, tour. the tours, yeah. So yeah. what are the streams? The streams not working out? Streams are working out, but there's so many independent artists out there. Yeah. You know? And, I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? Like, it's not 100% what we want, but we're getting there. Baby steps, I guess. You, you making money yet for me? He's making a little bit of money. Yeah. I'm going to say he's making loads, but he's getting there. And he's got a little team of him, isn't it? Assigned he's got seats. Team, yeah, assigned seats. Do you do you, do you manage any of them as well? Um, so it's a it's a small group of circle. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna say I manage manage them like they're there if they need me. Was it guidance and advice? Yeah, yeah. Or anything? But uh, my main focus is Luch. Okay. So I see. you know, if if they're gonna be making a track together and they want to be releasing together, so then I'm on it, kind of structuring it. Okay, so and so date. This is when we got to distribute and all of that. As a manager, do you accept certain artists? Um, featuring with him I okay so this is what I'm trying to do he right now he's working within the circle mm-hmm. when they all rap and sing mm-hmm. um, my focus is now that I've got a few artists that I have like a handful on one side that I've spoken to which he doesn't know about until now <laughs> and um, okay. and I will kind of present them to him when I feel like it's time okay so they're in the loop um, I've got two artists that I want him to work with here from England uh, we've spoken about it. Now it's just more of trying to see how he's going to fit them because they're like R&B. Okay. And he's so laid back, so I'm trying to see how that's going to work. Mm. <clears throat> so there are other features out there that I want to get him on with. Well, have you heard any UK and American features? <coughs> uh, recently? Yeah. Not recently, especially on the underground. Not can, recently. Can, can you name me an American and UK feature off the top of your head right now? Um... Commercially, I know like all the drill art five year foreigns done with this person and that there is there is some UK link ups. No commercial things. Commercially, that's what I'm trying to say. Um um Do you know any what's the, what's the name? Sean Sean the engineer has been doing stuff where he's crossing over, for example, Roddy Rich and Chip and them tunes. Oh, okay. He's done a few of those. Five Year Foreign done one with a UK artist, I forgot the name. It was more more about five years ago that it was trying, it was popping off, in it? When the UK really didn't have an identity yet. Mm. So yeah. now UK's got its own identity. It's yeah. more everyone's trying to get into the UK market now. Mm. Before yeah. the UK was trying to get everywhere. Because I remember Chip Chip was going around everywhere, innit? He had to Go around everywhere yeah. and bring he everyone took a home. He a huge break, didn't he? 
I, I, I salute Chip though. I don't, I don't care what he says about Chip. Chip's, a, Chip's, Chip's one of the. Did he not just come back recently with a track? Yeah, man. He's yeah. been, he's been here. He ain't gone nowhere. Mm. Salute to him, bruv. Yeah, I, I think the work crate. I definitely respect the work crate. It's just, what? it's hard when artists switch their stance. Like, like I feel a lot of these artists we've mentioned who've already gone and tried to cross over and whatnot kind of change their, their stance and image to fit in that mode. Yeah, you're right. And then when it didn't hit exactly where it was, then they changed again to fit in the new mode. I like artists where you've seen growth rather than complete change of stance. I hear that, but even that is growth as well, though. He might have to make mistakes. Definitely. To I know agree. that, oh, I got burnt there. Let me come back over here yeah. where I was good. Sometimes you got to do that, you know what I'm saying? I agree, I agree. And I think we judge it too harshly straight away. Oh, he's a sellout! But mm. he might want to make girl tracks, bro. He's, he's a human being. And he did <laughs> enter the game young. Yeah, there's many faces. Do you know what I'm saying? A human being got lots of faces. You yeah, can't right. just be tunnel visioning on this only. I feel like I've took that stance mm. because everyone expects that from me. If I, if I did a female song, it'll be like, oh, I have to do the female. <laughs> it'll be a different reaction. Definitely. So I know this. But one thing I'll vouch is, again... You can see growth with yourself or fine tuning. It's not like you've changed your message. No, never. So that's why some people start off materialistic. Yeah, you could be young or whatnot, but once you you sh- you, you you become who you are and you want to express that, you're gonna need to kind of fine tune rather than be standing on control music and then you've got twerking videos yeah, and yeah. whatnot, whatnot. You know, you respect women, <laughs> but then you're calling them bees and hoes. Exactly. And, you know. Yeah. Contradictory, bro. Yeah, Big yeah, time. yeah. Uh, cool, so let's end this now. In five years, you and Luch are going to be on top of the world, right? Right. Uh-huh. Top 10 album. Fingers crossed. Signed in blood. That's it. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just said it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Death Row UK. Yeah, man. Nah, five years' time, I want him to be what he, you know on top, get what he deserves. That's when I get satisfaction. Like, you know what, we've done it. I think he will be. you got a lot of motivation and you got a lot of drive as well. And you got that whip there that's really long. That's, <laughs> it's, it's whipping man from here to America. And that's a long whip, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I think the, the biggest satisfaction would probably be him just getting a debut award. Oh, well done. Okay. Well yeah. done. Yeah, well that, done. That's going to be like, that's when it's really going to hit. Like, you know, the hard work's paid off. Like, he's got something. Oh, yeah. He's got on his shelf now. He will. That's when it's going to be like, yes. I think I've told him this so many times and he just probably fed up with me saying it all the time. Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's the goal. That's now, the energy you need, man. Now, big up to you though, Zoe, Boss Queen, because it takes a lot of um, guts as well to yeah. want to do that. Mm. Like, to just step into another field. It is hard. Mm-hmm. It, it is hard. It's like me wanting to become a cameraman. Oh, I just fucked up. It, like, it, seriously, like, it'll be so nothing. hard. Yeah, it'll be so hard. Mm. It'll be so hard. So I salute you because it's that backbone. That, yeah. that little strength that a lot of people don't have that, that, holds you, up. that you've built up now do you know mm. what I'm saying if you didn't do that initial first step you won't be running right now I you? feel like I've learned a lot over the year yeah. a lot it's a lot this music game yeah, isn't it stuff that I thought that I thought I could do oh. but then I thought I can't do and I can do so okay yeah oh, dope man dope man <laughs> so big yourself up though thank and, you and you know what salute to you for coming down today on Powers for Breakfast and talking about your experience as an artist manager mm-hmm. like it's very insightful man most welcome but we're definitely going to invite you back in a couple of years I want to see your greatness <laughs> I want those free tickets to concerts and stuff as well so yeah you're there you're there your family don't worry <laughs> <laughs> and I want a ride in the in the rolls <laughs> And I want that red carpet treatment as well that you got when you came here. You know what I'm saying? I want like, that red yeah. carpet treatment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know when you had the papers, you had the awards. Yeah. I've become that liberal as well. Like, ah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, big up, man. Big up Boss Queen Management. What's your Instagram, man? Give it to them for the people. Mm, it's um, Boss underscore Queen underscore Management. Boss Queen Management. Is that on all over socials or just on all Insta? All over socials, Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. And your artist, what's your name? Uh, Luch Capo and his Instagram is Luch underscore AS Empire underscore ENT1. Okay, dope. I hope everyone got that, yeah? We're going to put that on um mm. on the screen anyway. So Probably somewhere, somewhere. And there's a link in the bio, mine and his, where you can find everything on there. Yes, people. And that is Boss Queen <laughs> Management. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Salute, man. Keep yeah. doing your thing. Yeah, keep doing your thing, man. And um, you. big yourself up, Empress. Thank you for coming down, yeah? You're welcome. Jeez.